Hey, Internet, this is Dan, just with a quick update thing. Earlier this week, I uploaded a video on the channel titled Mytho Melee, an original audio drama-esque thing that I decided to post between two Mytho Minutes. Which, by the way, if you haven't checked them out, card in the top for the two episodes of Mytho Minutes. Now, what is it? Why did I post it on the channel? Answer is very simple. Mytho Melee is an original audio work written by yours truly and also, like everything else on this channel, performed by yours truly. It is essentially a mythological tournament. A fictitious writing prompt that I decided to make kind of out of boredom, right? Now, it's not a versus show, like, say, Death Battle or Erind Rumble. And it isn't a pure power scaling series either. There's a bit of stretching of mythology and tales and those type of things to put forth a compelling narrative. Many of you are wondering that if it's not a versus show or a power scaling debate, how do you decide who wins? Just because it isn't pure power scaling, I do intend on having things locked to their mythology. I looked over the stories and abilities of those that are participating, and determine the victors of the rounds based on that. If you've looked over their stories and all their tales, is everything canon? Did Sir Gawain die to Mordred and Lancelot? Is he a bastard villain? No, unfortunately everything isn't canon. And there's a reason for that. These stories, some of them date back 6,000 years, give or take, if we're referring to Gilgamesh. And I don't have time to read everything. But I did kind of establish a continuity of sorts, a popular canon, as it were. For example, Achilles in Homer's Iliad is not invulnerable. In fact, he takes damage from having a spear thrown at him. But almost every other incarnation of the character, post-Homer, he has an invulnerability. And while I intend to hold things firm to the closest route, I also realized that popular representation is important. So, in the video that was just posted, which is the first match of the tournament, Achilles does have his nigh invulnerability, his only weakness being his Achilles heels. Alright, alright, with that in mind, then how'd you decide who was in the tournament? Favoritism, honestly. Uh, favorites, honestly. I know there are dozens or probably hundreds of other characters that could be in a tournament like this, but I chose those that I knew the best and that I could craft a narrative around. Those that I wouldn't be out of my depth detailing. So while I'm sure there are excellent heroes and things like the Mahabharata and the Shamane, I just don't have an in-depth understanding or reading of them yet. So if there's ever a Mytho Melee 2, Feel free to pitch a few ideas, because I'm trying my best here. Now, with that out of the way, what exactly are the rules? Well, you should have heard some of them in the first episode, but for the most part, the battles are one-on-one, -on -one, and they're decided in a tournament format, the bracket of which will be posted after I finish talking here. The second rule is that any equipment a combatant would logically have is given to them. This does not include mounts or summons or allies, things that they would have to call in, namely because the tournament's one-on-one. -on -one. It's between the two warriors. Now, that also means that sometimes there's fast and loose with the canonicity. For example, Beowulf bears all four swords that he used mythologically through the tale of Beowulf, while almost all of them were shattered, because Beowulf goes through swords like coffee paper. Okay, now how do the matches end? A match ends when one or both parties involved die, forfeit, or are knocked unconscious. And that's just up to my decision making. It'll be announced, and of course, the character will move on. There's actually going to be a link to the tournament bracket in the description below if you wish to follow along after each episode's released. Cool? Cool. Now, the last rule is that the tournament ends when only one figure remains. That is the person that claims victory and whatever the prize is. That is up in the air. You guys have to wait to figure out what that is. All right, 
Just wanted to put this up here and clarify things before the next episode comes out. Uh, so, until next time, I'm gonna shut up. Uh, the bracket's gonna be up in three, two, one.